this is exciting. Yesterday, I was getting ready to go out and solve all the world's problems. I was going to end all the feuding and strife and everything. And then I saw Fred Le Guin in the grocery store. Fred Le Guin is an Excel MVP in France, but he comes to Portland, Oregon to do his grocery shopping once a week. So I saw him in the grocery store and we started talking and he asked me to check out his blog post. It was great. That's what I'm going to show you today. How do we get emojis into Excel? Here we go. We have to go down to the taskbar, right click it, show touch keyboard button. And once you have that check marked, then there is the touch keyboard. All right, so I'm gonna add another row of data. So let's go here. Check out the emojis. All right, what do we want to add in here? Let's go to the objects. Let's add a roller coaster. Now let's fill in the rest of this data. This is Ella. Then this is an N. This, let's grab a train. Copy. I'm going to grab that train. Paste it in there. And then that is a nine. Whatever this data is, it does not matter. Okay, enter and check it out. That is a jack-o'-lantern as the column header in column E for this table. One thing we can do, let's click inside the table, insert slicer. We can slice by that jack-o'-lantern. Let's slice by transport. Okay, we can slice by the car or the airplane or the train. Let's clear that. Get that out of here. I'm going to write a V lookup. I'm going to grab this dice, go up here, and click copy it. Okay. Equals V lookup. Lookup value is what? I'm going to paste that dice in, but it's got to be in double quotes. Double quote, comma. The range, here we go, this table, comma, I want to grab the transport. So that's going to be the fourth column, four, comma, false, close parentheses, enter. It brings us back the car. What else can we do? Dynamic arrays. I'm going to copy this train, copy. equals filter open parentheses the table comma include where this column equals what's in here enter there are all the train transports filtered let's make a drop down list equals unique the array here enter so we need to know this cell is I4 so let's go over here data data validation list equals I4 hashtag okay check that out the emojis show up in the drop down list Power Query in the data set from table slash range. There's our data. There is the jack-o'-lantern, the airplanes, the poop emoji, the grapes. Everything is here, but it gets better. Watch this. View, advanced editor. There is the jack-o'-lantern in the M code. We noticed that some emojis did not translate over. Check out the box by Denise's name. Let's slide and see what that is. The steak and the pretzel did not show up. So we got to watch out for that stuff. And what happens if I select this column, hold down the control key, this column, right click, 
unpivot other columns. The result doesn't matter right now. Let's look at our advanced editor. Check that out. There is the jack-o'-lantern again in our unpivot command. One last thing. These black and white emojis don't look so attractive in the Excel workbook. But this is saved on my OneDrive. So we open this in Excel Online. There's our data and the emojis in full color. That's what I wanted to show you. This is so neat. You can make some interesting dashboards, interesting visuals, so much that you can do with this. So go ahead, play with it, make use of this stuff. And thanks to Fred Le Guin for showing this. Do you see a use for this in what you do? Have you already been using emojis in Excel? I'm curious. Leave comments and let me know. See you in the next video.